Hi, I'm Shoestring Jay and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things thrifty, frugal, money saving and money making. And I've just got back from a rather windy dog walk and a quick trip to the library to pick up my book and that's why my hair's looking so windswept. And yesterday I spent all day in my mum's garage because she's selling her house and she's got an offer, she's accepted an offer on her house. So she's, even though when dad was still alive, they did go through a lot of the cluster in their garage there's still a, quite a lot out there. So I went through, just managed to do about about a quarter of it, I would say, yesterday. Just got sorting through things. We made a big boot sale pile because she would like to go and do a car boot sale before she goes. And it's made me think, actually, I must think about some things of my own that could go to a car boot sale because I've been doing so much decluttering, but I've been donating it all or selling it. So um, online, really. But So I thought, well, actually, I'll I'll think about what I've got and what I might put in a car boot sale at some point and if I've got to have to take her and help her to do it. So I bought some things back of hers because mum and dad were antiques dealers basically. They had units in a couple of different or three about three or four actually different antiques units around Essex and Suffolk at different points and they'd got rid of most of the stuff. A lot of it is lining the shelves of mum's house of her cottage because she loves it so she loves that kind of cluttered shabby chic chintzy look wonder where I get it from but some of it's gonna have to go as well so I'm gonna have to go through that stuff as well she's gonna take some of it with us she doesn't want to get rid of everything it's gonna be a massive wrench because you know she's leaving 30 years of life with my dad behind but she the stairs are ridiculous she cannot stay there the stairs go like they go kind of up round and then round again and they're really narrow so they are quite dangerous really it's a beautiful cottage I'm gonna miss it and I don't even live there so I thought I'd do as much as I can to help her on the way down to hers to clear out the garage I had to stop at my favorite charity shop which is just it's an independent charity shop and it doesn't charge ridiculous amounts and the woman is so so it was so grateful if I take away a lot because they get a lot of donations and they they just struggled to store it really. So she said, I could get a bigger shop, but then I'd just fill a bigger shop. <laughs> so I just need to sell it. So I bought some things from there. So I'll show you first of all, my bargains from the charity shop. And then I will show you the things I'm gonna sell on eBay for mum. Um, I do also have a Henry Hoover, I'm gonna grab my coffee. I have an older uh, Henry Hoover of hers that she didn't get on with, it was too heavy. I don't like them either. I used to have one and gave it to my daughter that I'm going to put on Facebook Marketplace. But yes, first of all, I got two pairs of shoes. These are hotter and they are quite green. So not everybody likes green, do they? But they're in really good condition and they're a memorised one. So I think they've got a memory foam insole. Yeah, they have, you can really feel it is. And they're size seven and a half. So they say they're size seven and a half. I'm a size seven and I tried them on and they actually felt slightly snug, although I've got thick socks on, so it could be that. But they're not really, they're more a seven than a seven and a half. They're in good condition. It's hotter, you can't go wrong with hotter really. And then I picked up these, I spotted these under, these were under a big pile of stuff. I'm trying not to spill my coffee. And a new in a box, Mary and Clark's. And this is a collaboration, actually I think it says it on the side of the box. Grey Snake. Does it say it? Oh, she, they see, this has got £9 on the box, but she didn't charge me £9. I didn't even notice that. There's no way she charged me £9. You'll see when I got the rest. I have no idea what she what she charged me, but it wasn't £9. Um, I'd be lucky if it's even, well, she wouldn't probably have even charged me a fiver. These don't look like they have ever been worn. And they are a collaboration with, what's her name? She's the woman that ruined the charity shops. She went into the charity shops and made them all put their prices up so that they were ridiculous. And I thought it said them on here. It says it here. I'm going to just go and look it up. Hold on. Sorry, I had a brain fart. It's Mary Portis. So she's the one that told charity shops they could become mini boutiques and charge loads, loads, loads more for their all of their stock. And I think that was the start of most charity shops being far too expensive for most of us to buy for, even just for ourselves. Um, but these, literally, they I don't think they've been worn. It doesn't look like there's a single bit of wear. So somebody's paid a lot for those. Maybe they were really uncomfortable. They're not the kind of shoes I'd wear. I can't be doing with heels. And I've got quite wide feet, so there's no way they'd fit into that, into these little 
delicate things, but they are lovely. If you like those sort of thing, they're very kind of classic styling, but with a bit of a modern twist, aren't they? So um, it's Mary Porter, so it's a collaboration. So they're brand new. I don't know what they would have been. It says they're new on the box, what they would have been originally, but I shall look them up. I reckon they're at least still 30 pounds worth there when I come to resell those. I can't get them. Everything's too difficult for me today. I must have got, not got enough sleep. So those two pairs of shoes, and then I got this cute little thing. And it's like, it's egg, a, you can imagine your butler, Jeeves, bringing these in. Bring in the soft boiled eggs, please, Jeeves. And they come off. I don't think it's silver. When I looked at it, it was only two pounds. When I looked at it, I thought, oh, that's a silver mark. I don't think you can see it. It looks like it should be, doesn't it? Might be silver plate. It's it's kind of dusty. I think that's the problem. So I can't really see. So I need to, somewhere I've got a magnifier. I'll have to dig it out and see what that is. But I thought, well, that's quite cute and interesting. So for two pounds, I bought that. I've no idea of the value of these. I haven't looked anything up yet. So just hoping this didn't break. I bought so much stuff back from my mum's because things that she wants me to sell, the stuff I'd bought. Um, I was going straight to Justin's mum's to stay over the night. So I had all my overnight stuff. Um, what else did I have? Oh, and then I oh, just a bit some bobs that mum doesn't want anymore. Things to do with cars, a load of paint and that kind of thing that I thought perhaps we could make use of. Anyway, on to my bargains. I thought I bought these because all of these don't, Pyrex type dishes don't really fetch an awful lot. I thought I had a nice pattern. They're very vintage and they, well, that one costs 50p and that one cost, it doesn't got it on there, but it cost, oh, yes, it has. That one cost a pound and that one cost 50p. They don't often bother labelling things in this charity shop, so I think they must have a, a enthusiastic new volunteer. So now they're labelling things, which means you're, you're not kind of doing quite so much guesswork, but you know, that I know that they charge me a good rate anyway, so I never really haggle or ask. This is an Ashley Ceramics, very vintage and cute and chintzy, Flandish, that was a pound. I thought that was very nice. I've never really heard of Ashley Ceramics. I don't think I've sold any Ashley so far. And I had to go back for these. She ran out of carrier bags. So I ran out to my car because I had a load of spare big bags for life to give her. Um, and on the way back, I spotted these. And I thought these are interesting. So there were two pounds for a set of four. And then this very interesting art pottery by anthropology it says sweet one studio there is a signature but i can't read it i'll have to look it up see if you can read that i don't know what that says it must be the designer and there are four of them and i think they're very unusual things like that can often sell for quite a bit but again i'm not really sure because i haven't looked into it yet and what else have we got here? Oh, these are lovely. I mean, these are, I buy a lot of things like this and they take quite a while to sell, to be honest. I probably should stop buying so many, so I'm trying to find somewhere to put my coffee. I don't want to spill it everywhere. These were three, four pounds for three, which again, this is more than they used to charge, but honestly, it's a fair price. I'm not going to quibble. These are Copeland Spode, Spode's Nigel bowls, and I got three of them. Aren't they a lovely pattern? I love this kind of bright floral design. I think that's really nice. And so they're three of those. I felt there were no chips or anything when I left the shop. You know me, there could be some chips now. That I don't think there are. I was quite careful. And she did very kindly wrap them up in a bit of bubble wrap for me, which was good. And then the other things I got from there were two pairs of vintage looking curtains. Now they've got no labels on them. Oh, this one has, but it doesn't say where it was made. Um, vintage cottagey type and mum said oh these are lovely and sort of things she would have just had probably they're very similar to the one she's got in her cottage actually so I need to measure those they're very clean again I love it you find so many curtains that look like they've barely been used and a lot of people don't like these old vintage designs but then some people really do and it's hard to pick them up now so there's those very cottagey so I don't know if they are vintage but they're certainly very vintage looking and in good condition and these are also very nice, very heavy kind of, I'm trying to think what this is called. 
I don't know what it, oh, what's it called? Um, chenille, I think it probably is. Chenille type, heavy red and gold. I mean, red and gold is a very classic combination. It does have a label on it. Unfortunately, there's nothing on the label, but they don't look as if they've been washed. They don't look as if they could be washed. So I don't know why there's nothing on the label, but they're lo lovely, heavy lined curtains. There is a little bit, there's a little bit of damage here. So we'll have to kind of snip that off and see how we can get that to look. But other than that, that looks like a cat. It's the sort of thing my cats would do. Other than that, they look as if they're in really nice condition. Ah, oh, there is a little bit of fading on this side. So obviously when I list these, I will photograph all of that and make it very clear that there is that kind of damage. And she normally charges three pounds for a pair of curtains, which is an absolute bargain. So three, six, 750, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think she charged me £8 for those. I think she charged me £8, so which is absolutely fair enough. I would have paid that happily. She's a lovely lady. She runs this shop because her, her two children are both autistic and she started it from scratch to raise money for the charity that supports her children. And she often looks so harried. I mean, it's a bit closer to me. I would love to go and volunteer, especially if they let me took the, take the dog. A mum would love to volunteer, but it's in between the two of us. She can't get there and she doesn't drive now. And it's just really too far for me to go so regularly. But I, I feel closer, I'd love to do it. Let me show you what we found, the treasure in mum's garage. This is These are things that were her collections that she's picked up from various places. She may have bought them individually or as a, a lot at auction or she's found them in charity shops, boot sales. She didn't really buy a lot online, so I doubt she bought any online. And this is a little box, a lunch box full of little weighed figurines. And these, I mean, they have a massive value, but they have a value. They're about sort of seven or eight pounds each when I was looking. This is Wee Willy Winky, little weighed. It says Wade England there. Oh, mum seems to have paid £12 for that. So she's gone crazy with that when she bought that. But these things do go up and down as we know. And they're not very in fashion, these things, are they? When I was looking, you're looking at six to £12 for some of them. But that wee really winky, I think somebody had one on for £8. Um, and there's one box for a cat. Puss in Boots, and we've got Puss in Boots here somewhere, but I saw him yesterday, but he's not in his box. It's Little Bo Peep. So they're really rather sweet, aren't they? And she's she's obviously paid something for them at one point, and she had them on display, but she hasn't had them on display for ages, and she's not going to be taking them. She's, she really loves coloured glass these days, so most of what she'll be taking to her new retirement flat will be the coloured glass, because she hasn't got room for everything. So even though she doesn't live in a huge cottage, she does have quite a lot of space and she has these outbuildings. So um, no, I don't want to put that in there. So that one's got a box, it might be worth a little bit more. So there are about, I don't know, the door. it was the postman bringing me my voting cards. Although I have to look, I think my must be my postal voting because I've put down for a postal vote because I'm actually working as a polling clerk again this year. So haven't done that for about five years. It's a very long day, but it's worth it financially. And it's quite a lot of fun. It's quite interesting. It's changed a lot, I think, since I did it last time, because now it's all digital, and apparently. So I was told I've got to have a little training day. Anyway, back to what I was doing. That's the Wade. And also got a birthday present come through the post as well. It's not my birthday till next week. So that's nice. I won't open that yet. I found this in the garage. Again, these are just cute little spice pots at some point she did have these and she's got one two three six of these so we've got oregano mixed spice they're called vintage home but i think they are actually vintage 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 home so i think they were faux vintage when they first arrived and now they're actual vintage because she's had them such a long time basil don't know what the others are but there you get the idea and they're all in good condition they need a good wash they've been in her garage for ages so before i can photograph and list those for her I will have to give them a good wash. And then finally, the treasures in mum's garage that we found so far anyway, 
I think this is going to be most of any of the vintage stuff outside. I think the rest will be us trying to sort and mum trying to let go of the stuff that's inside, which is just hard, isn't it? But she, I don't even remember her having these on display. Justin remembers. I don't know what's wrong with my memory. She has a whole big plastic storage box of these and they are called Royal Osborne. And they're all different white animals. I think they're actually rather nice. And again, they don't have a massive value, but they have a value. So I could probably do them in little groups maybe, or maybe I'll do one listing with lots of different options. Maybe sort of eight, nine, 10 pounds. I think some of them went for a bit more. I wrap them up again so I don't actually manage to kill them before I list them. So as you can see, this is quite a big box of them. She has got quite a lot of these. She had them at the bottom of the stairs and just decided to put something else there in the end. She had a different lot of things. I think Dad wanted his, some of his toy cars there. But that is really cute. I think that's really, really cute. And they paid £15 for that. They haven't gone up, these things. So you buy these because you like them, not because you think they're going to make your fortune ever. She loved these. And I think they're cute. They'd be nice in a nursery, wouldn't they? Oh, look at this one. Isn't he lovely? A squirrel. He's really cute, isn't he? I really like him. So, yeah, we looked. We It's not a huge, huge value, but some of them were worth maybe 15 rather than sort of seven or eight. Some of them were worth only six or seven. Cats, very lovely, like all of these. So, they don't need washing, they're quite clean. That's good. So I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I've probably got about over 20 of those, just over 20. So, I mean, I, I think this is quite fun, although it takes, obviously takes a bit of time for me to list these for her. And I don't normally list things for other people because they don't appreciate how long it takes you and that I'm not listing stuff for myself and I'm quite busy. But obviously for mum, it's a different different story. Um, and if I can do it for her, she was saying, you keep the money. I said, no, I'm not going to keep the money. It's your money. You'll need it for moving. So anything go towards her moving costs will be useful. So I've got to try and get those li listed, some of them anyway this afternoon and perhaps some of my own listings too. So that's my little haul. That's my bunch of treasures that I found for mum. And that's it for this video. So it's not a very long one, but I'll see you next time. And as it's Easter weekend this weekend, no doubt we will be at a boot sale at some point. We haven't decided which day we're going to go on yet, but we'll be at boot sale at some point. So I'll show you some of my boot sale bargains next time. Look out in your area if you like secondhand bargain hunting. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.